I'm not talking about paying you a compliment. I'm talking about a process, a crazy process that starts with a protein, and there's actually like 25 proteins involved in this crazy cascade of chemical reactions that you do not have to know them all. And the end result of the complement cascade, the end result of the complement cascade is something called um, MAC, which is a membrane attack, oh yeah, complex. That says complex because that's what the MAC attack is about. MAC, dude, this is so cool. Through the process of start here, something will initiate the complement cascade. And if all the proteins come along through the process, you'll actually end up with this thing that all the proteins come together and form, essentially, it's almost like initiating apoptosis. It creates a complex that pops the bad guy. So the membrane attack complex pops the pathogen. And it's a general uh, thing. And here's what's really interesting. Something initiates complement. You can actually have antibodies initiate complement. Remember what antibodies look like? And antibodies, we've seen them already with um, when we talked about blood typing, but we're about to enter the world of holy antibody fun times with the acquired immune response. Um, antibodies have this little uh, place, like a little receptor zone in their armpit. And that actually binds with one of the first chemicals in the complement cascade and can initiate the, the cascade. So the presence of antibodies, there's lots of antibodies. If you are initiating a serious immune response to a bad guy, especially after we've activated the acquired immune response, which we haven't talked about yet, Lots of antibodies mean we'll have lots of opportunities to um, go through this complement cascade. Members, now, the end game is this membrane attack complex, but the fact is that all these 25 intermediate chemicals along the way also have various functions. For example, some of them are inflammatory cytokines or mediators of inflammation inflammation molecule. So they're going to they're going to initiate an inflammatory response. Others are um, opsonins. Oh yeah, what's that word mean? Opsonin. I honestly can't remember if I told you what this meant yet. Um, an opsonin is any chemical that initiates phagocytosis. So this complement cascade pops the bad guy, but along the way initiates inflammation and phagoc phagocytosis. So um, it, we're basically creating a chemical doo-doo storm when we have a, an immune response. And even though we've separated out innate and acquired, they absolutely overlap. The next lecture, we're going to talk about the acquired immune response and, and highlight those places where there actually is significant overlap. But you can save that fun times for then. Okay, bye-bye now.